I have tested dozens of AI apps and extensions for saving time and productivity, but most of them end up not being very practically useful. Today I will be showing you an all-in-one AI assistant that can come inside your Google Chrome and help you summarize YouTube videos, write social media posts, articles, blog posts, and also correct your grammar whether you're writing a document or an email, every single thing in one single extension. It's a very simple to use all-in-one solution. There are a lot of time-saving tips in this video, so without wasting any further time, let's get started. Now let me tell you why this is such a huge game changer. Basically, once you register and add it to your Google Chrome, all you have to do is press Command M. When I do that, in front of my browser, I will have my AI assistant. Now, before I move ahead, just want to let you know that you can get this application from AppSumo.com. Let me show you how. If you go to AppSumo.com, they have like a huge library of multiple applications that can help you save time in your content. And all of these are available for lifetime. So there's a one-time fee for it. The best part is that they have a 10% discount going on because of their Black Friday sale. So if you're interested in getting this tool, Go to AppSumo, get it on a discount and you will have it for a lifetime. I'll share all the details in description. The fun part here is that if I go to my LinkedIn and let's just say that I'm browsing, looking for resources, let's just say I go to my profile, I can now access Walla inside my Google Chrome at any point. So right now, if I press Command M, this is how the assistant looks like. Now, of course, by default, it has come in the center, but I can actually drag it and keep it anywhere I want. Now, by default, it has a library of prompts that it wants you to try out, right? So it could be cold email to this connection, a LinkedIn ad, a LinkedIn post. So basically, it already knows that I am on LinkedIn. But let's just say I go to Google and then I again go and press Command M. Now it will have a library of my actions, different AI assistants, brainstorming ideas and writing tools. Let me explain you one by one. Let's just say I go to AI assistant. As soon as I do that, I now have predefined personas. I have a business strategist, marketing expert, social media manager, UX specialist, legal advisor, like the list goes on and on. Now, the fun part is that let's just say that I click on life coach, right? Now it already knows the persona. So whatever I ask, this tool will already think from the brain of a life coach. So I can say I'd like to chat about how can I save time and feel more energetic right? Which is like a huge problem. I always struggle with saving time and, you know, having low energy. So it says, of course, let's start by exploring your current routine and lifestyle. Can you tell me a bit more about your daily schedule, your activities? So now it's actually having a conversation with me. So let's try this out. Okay. I wake up around eight, try to go to the gym, come back by nine. Then I have work calls till evening. Most of my lifestyle is very sedentary. I wish I had better hold on nutrition and sleep. Also, I scroll a lot of social media, right? Like common problems, problems that everybody is facing. Thank you for sharing your routine. It's great to have that you prioritize in going to the gym. First, let's address nutrition. How would you describe your current eating habits? Do you tend to eat balanced meals? So the interesting part is that this conversation can go on and on. And the most coolest part here is that it prioritizes the first problem to fix. So instead of saying that, let's focus on your exercise or your productivity or social media, it says, let's start with nutrition. Now, this is a very, very basic example. But my point is that you can actually call in so many different avatars according to the problems that you are facing. So you have so many other AI experts and you remember when we used to, you know, try out other AI applications, you used to like define a persona, right? That itself takes so much time, but they have already done that for you, which is crazy if you think about it, right? So that is around the AI assistance. I have been primarily using this around summarizing content. So let's cover four very, very useful features that I personally find extremely helpful. These are the four features that I found were truly, truly remarkable. Feature number one is about asking questions. So instead of even, you know, going through any of these libraries, I can literally say that I want to research about building AI apps using Java or Swift. Can you guide me towards free courses? As soon as I press enter, it would literally come up with a list of courses for each of these categories. 
Now I can also say, what about AI specific stuff? And then I can dig deeper and deeper. So it can either have a default answer from its own training model or it will search the web. The biggest benefit of this is that instead of opening multiple tabs and doing research yourself, you can now use this to ask anything, right? So of course, I have asked very basic questions, but you can also say that once it has created a course, you know, you can actually have another conversation where you can say that, hey, I am a college student. I only have this much of time. Then what should I do? It will help you plan your day out. It will help you get the links. For example, right now, it is not only telling me what all courses do I need to have, but it is also redirecting me to each of these resources using hyperlinks. Feature number two is around fixing grammatical mistakes and just making my LinkedIn posts or social media posts sound better. Let me show you how that works. I'll go back to my LinkedIn and let's just say, I go here and let's go to show all posts and I'm going to pick any of the recent posts that I've made, right? So let's just say I take this one. By the way, we're having an AI meetup in Delhi and Hyderabad. So I was just promoting that. If I were to copy this thing right here, right? And literally go here and say rephrase the following. Make it sound more catchy. It will literally start rephrasing the entire thing on its own. Now, this is so, so cool. Now, what I did right now was the simpler way. You can actually select all of this text again and then press command M and by default, Walla will know that I have selected text. So now it is already asking me what to do with the selected text. Now it gives me an option to improve the writing, fix grammar and spelling, make it longer or make it shorter. So if I were to click on make longer, I don't even have to paste the text. I just have to select something. And now I have all of this content expanded for me. This is crazy because I can not only do this with my own LinkedIn posts, I can literally go to any blog post, any article, any news publication site, select that text and then rephrase it, expand it, shorten it, convert it into a LinkedIn carousal. And at the very bottom, you have more options, which include simplifying, shortening, changing the tone. Now, if I click on change tone, you have multiple tones to choose from, which is extremely cool. Now, because I'm promoting an event, if I were to click on say urgent, it will rephrase the entire thing and then make it as if, you know, it's just so, so important to me. Now, the coolest part here is that I don't have to spend a lot of time prompting, right? For a very long time, people said that if you don't know prompting, then you are stuck. But tools like Walla are actually removing that barrier because now I could be writing an email or a document and all I have to do is select my text and then literally press command and, and then I have my AI assistant with me at any point of time. In feature number three, I will show you how to create social media content using Walla. So let's just say I go to my Twitter and let's just say that I want to come up with a set of tweets, right? So let me go to my profile and this is my profile right here. What I can do is I can literally press command M and then here it already knows that I'm on Twitter. So this is so, so user friendly. Like there is so much of intelligence built in with this tool, right? If I click on Twitter thread, I can have this prompt that says write a Twitter thread about how designers can use AI to make money. As soon as I press enter, it will now come up with a proper thread and it has broken it down into individual parts. So this is tweet number one. This is tweet number two. So it has created a proper thread. Now, of course, I will not recommend you to blindly copy paste this and just put it on Twitter. But imagine the amount of time I can save if I have something like this, because I can directly copy it and then edit it on my own. Or I can say that shorten it, right? Maybe I don't want nine points. Maybe I just want three points or four points. But a tool like this helps me see one single topic from multiple directions. So the turnaround times for me or for my team are heavily reduced. Now you can do this for Twitter, for LinkedIn, whatever it may be, because they have built in templates already. Now it doesn't only end at Twitter because if I were to press command M again, I can literally go here, scroll down and then find the folder called social media. Within social media, if you scroll down, you'll have Facebook posts, LinkedIn posts, Twitter, everything is available by default. I can click on library again. And if I were to go down, I can also search through advertising. So it can give me Google search ad copy, Facebook ad copy, LinkedIn ads, ad concepts, storyboard, every single thing is readily available. Now, another very, very cool feature is actually website copy. 
if you are creating a website or if you have a landing page or if you're a ux designer you can actually get landing page copy for your startup for any of the clients that you're working for so let's just say i want a landing page copy for an e-commerce website that sells imported graphic cards right so now it will give me a proper heading subtext and it is also giving me copy as well now as i said you can take this brainstorm on top of it show it to your clients and impress them so so quickly like imagine the amount of effort and time used to take to generate all of these things from scratch so the thing is there is so much to explore in each of these folders that i can spend an hour exploring this so i want you to check these out my responsibility here was to make sure that i show you that all of this is possible so please make sure that if you try this tool, at least explore one one prompt for each of these categories. Now the last feature or number four is around summarizing YouTube videos. Now I have used so many tools for YouTube summarization. So I really know when a tool is working and when a tool is not working. Let's just say I take a 55 minute long video. Okay, this was a video that we had made on communication. Now, if you're a student and you don't have enough time to watch this one hour long video, you can press command M and automatically Walla will know that we are on YouTube. Now you can either summarize this YouTube video or use this video as context and then ask deeper questions. What do I mean by that? If I click on summarize YouTube video, this is happening in real time, okay? I'm not gonna edit this at all. This is a 55 minute long video and see how quickly it created a summary. Now, by default, the summary is very, very generic. So it's like a one single paragraph. I will say, can you list top five lessons from this video? and press enter. So now I can dig deeper into each and every individual lesson. Let's just say that I asked it to list five top lessons and out of these, maybe I really liked this point number two. So I can say, can you tell me what he said for point number two? And now it'll actually point out all the examples, all the tips that I had shared around point number two. And it doesn't throw in a lot of information. And that is something that I really, really like in this tool that it is so well designed, that it is so well curated or so well prompted that you will not find a lot of difficult words, a lot of complicated vocabulary. It's very easy to understand. And overall, you can save a lot of time, right? So if I were to click on cross again and then press command M, and click on use video as context, then you can actually have actions done on this YouTube video itself. So if I were to say fix grammar and spelling, it would actually take the entire script and then help me fix the grammar of the transcript itself. So now it will go on and on and create a real time transcript. So if I am a content creator and I want to create a blog post out of my own video, it is so easy to do that because once this is done and this would go on and on, once this is done, I can say that just have the first five minutes and create a LinkedIn post out of it. Just take the first two minutes and create a Twitter thread out of it. So you can imagine the kind of time you can save if you use this tool smartly. Now, there were a lot of features that I didn't cover in this video because I wanted to make this tutorial very short and very crisp and easy to understand. Let me know in the comment section that out of all the features that I showed, which one was the most useful and practical. Right now, you can get this tool for life on AppSumo and get 10% off on all of their tools because of their Black Friday sale. You will find the download link in the description of this video. Let me know if you enjoyed this video and if you want more such videos on AI tool recommendations. If you're here for the first time, make sure you click on subscribe and hit the bell icon because we regularly upload videos on AI tools, UX design, and upskilling. With that being said, I hope that you're taking care of your mind and body. This is your dose, Anch Mehra, signing out. If you like this video, make sure you click on like and hit the subscribe button. I regularly upload videos on UX design, marketing, and storytelling.